What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show here today. Going on the road out to the West Coast here. we got a three-game set with the Giants. And, uh, yeah, let's see if I can put one in the drink behind Levi's Landing. That's going to be hard to go opposite field and get one that far. But weirder things have happened here. Top of the first. Runner on first. Nobody out here. I'm coming in batting second today. 220 the average. Jack Flaherty on the mound now for the Giants. I cannot see speeds of anything there. Does that say 95 or 96 on the four-seamer? 90 on his cutter. 93 on the sinker. First pitch is a four-seamer taken out to right field, but definitely not going to get a base hit there. Right fielder had plenty of time to get to that one. That is the first out. Only took one pitch to get it there. Bottom of the first. One away. Nobody on for Kavan Biggio. He's batting second in the order for the Giants today. Cardinals are holding a 2-0 lead. And a 2-2 count for Biggio here against Pablo Lopez. And he bunts one down the first base line, but lots of speed on that little bunt. And uh, first baseman takes to the bag himself. Call that one three unassisted. Bottom of the second, Marco Luciano is at the plate for the Giants now. He's hitting 222 on the season. And he's standing in with one out and nobody on here. He's got an 0-1 count in the at-bat. A little ground ball to the right side. Easy play. Two away here in the bottom of the second. Top of the third. It's a 3-2 ball game now. Cardinals have a one-run lead. Runner on third and nobody out here. As I'm going up against Jack Flaherty for the second time in this one. There I can see a little bit more speeds for the pitches. Yeah, he doesn't have anything quick outside of the four. Seamer, sinker, and cutter. Oh, knuckle curve at 76 on the lower inside corner of the zone. Got me to swing through that. Oh, and one the count. Good pitch there. Grip it and rip it on a four-seamer out into right field. That's going to get down in the corner. I'll hold up at first just for grins and giggles. Why push my luck as I get the RBI with that single. And when Cardinals are now up 4-2. to two. Top of the fourth, runners on first and second, two away. I'm standing in for the third time today. One for two after that RBI single earlier. And we get a dynamic challenge against Jack Flaherty. Uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's try the contact swing to drive in a run. Can't hurt anything, right? All right, first pitch of the at-bat from Flaherty. Wow, in the dirt and away from the catcher it goes. Runners advance to second and third now with two away. The wild pitch allows for two runners, both runners, I should say, to advance. So we have a 1-0 and count here. and Yeah, that knuckle curve was way down there. Next pitch is a knuckle curve again, this time low and inside just a little bit. Easy take for a 2-0 and count here. I think I have to hit that contact. Swing, right? Yeah. Oh, chopper down the third baseline. Goes foul as it goes by the bag. So two and one the count. I was a little bit out in front of that slider there. Next pitch is a four-seamer at the knees on the inside corner. Holy mackerel, that was close. Three and one the count, though, as a home plate umpire called that a ball. All right, pitch number five of the at-bat is off the inside corner. Slider drawing a walk. Failed the dynamic challenge, but hey, I'll take the free base. Bottom of the sixth, we come back to it. Kevon Biggio's at the plate for the third time today. Pablo Lopez still on the mound. Cardinals still leading 4-2. to two. There's nobody out and nobody on in this at-bat. So the 0-2 pitch to him is ripped over to me. Almost had to move to get to that. Throw to first in plenty of time. And easy play, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. A couple batters later, we have Marco Luciano, who's 0 for 2 on the day, with a fly out and a ground out on his line score. There is a runner on first and two away. One and two the count for him against starter Pablo Lopez. Here's the pitch. A simple little pop-up. Not going to be an infield fly rule, because it is the third out of the inning. But I make the play on the infield dirt, and that retires the side. Top of the seventh will come back to it. Runner on first. Nobody out as I'm standing in for the third time today. Batting average at a 221. Now going up against Peter Lambert on the bump for San Fran. He has a 96 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch from him is a four seamer low and away. 1-0 the count after watching that one go by. 
I've only grounded into 13 double plays this season. That's pretty good for me, I guess. The 1-0 pitch now from Lambert. Ah, I watch a four-seamer almost right down the middle. One and one the count. Dang it. <laughs> All right, third pitch of the at-bat. Got a piece of a change up below the knees that I really shouldn't have swung at, but I did. So we have a one and two count after knocking that one foul. Fourth pitch of the at-bat. Oh, four-seamer up in the top of the zone. Got a piece, fouled it away. One and two remains the count. And a four-seamer there below the knees. Evens up the count at two and two. <sighs> Come on, big fella. Give me a good one. Mm, that's not it. Change up off the outside corner. Runs the count full. We're looking at a payoff pitch here from Peter Lambert. Let's see what happens here. It's off the plate away. Another walk for me in this one. All right. Runners on first and second now. Nobody out in the top of the seventh. Cardinals use that to their advantage. If we've extended the lead to seven to two. Two outs and nobody on here in the top of the eighth. And I'm standing in with a one for two line score. And I get another dynamic challenge. Um, hmm. Let's try to get on base after taking the first pitch. Why the heck not? Kyle Harrison is now on the mound for the Giants. He has a 96 mile an hour four seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from the left hander here. Off the plate away, easy take there. 25,089 in attendance here with today's game at Oracle Park. Second pitch is off the inside corner with a four seamer. We have a two and zero count in a hurry. I'll take that. Third pitch of the at bat. Oh. Come on, Blue. That was definitely off the corner, bud. Two and one the count after getting that called strike. Next one is a four-seamer below the knees. Makes the count three and one. I haven't seen one in the zone yet, despite the three and one count. And free first base again in this one. That's back-to-back -back walks for me at the batter's box. So, yeah, we'll take that. 9-2 to two the score in the bottom of the 8th. So apparently they pushed me around to score. Runner on first, nobody out for Kavan Vigio, who's 0-3 for 3 on the day, has a 1-1 one one count in this at-bat against reliever Alex Reyes. We're looking for a double play ball here. And we get a double play. Here we go. 4, 6, and 3. That empties the bases and puts two outs on the board. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Cardinals win the game, 9-6 to six, the final score, and we're moving on to the next one here. While that one's loading in, I'd like to remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Top of the first now, one out, nobody on. I'm batting second, batting average up to a 221 today. Will Bedner is on the mound for the Giants here to start things off, and I cannot see the speed of his top two pitches. But I can tell you he's got a 94-mile-an-hour two-seamer, so I imagine his four-seamer up there is probably just as quick. First pitch is the four-seamer at 93 off the outside corner, and that's an easy take for a ball. 1-0 and the count now. Second pitch, there was a curveball just off the outside corner, but I thought it was going to stay in, so I swung on it, fouled it off, and we have a 1-1 one one count. Third pitch of the at-bat makes me do a little dance. Make a little love. We're getting down tonight. Two and one the count. Watch, I'm going to get a copyright strike for that one. Two one pitch. Uh, fouled off a slider there. Just above the knees. Two and two the count. And four seamer there below the knees, taken for a ball. We have a full count now in only the second at bat of the first inning. And ripped one right back up the middle. He had to duck and cover for safety on that one. Hot shot up the middle makes for a single with the full count. We will take that. That extends the hit streak yet again. Lane Thomas at the dish here, bottom of the second. Three to two ball game now. Cardinals with a one run lead. Two outs and nobody on here for Lane Thomas who's hitting an even 250 and has a two and two count in this at bat. He hits a little dribble to the right side. We'll get him easily at first. And that retires the side. We're moving on to the third with a one-run lead. 
You betcha. Speaking of which, I am leading off the third inning here. One for one with a single and a run scored on my line score today. Will Bedner on the mound still for the Giants. First pitch from him. Oh, curveball had me way out in front. That was horrific. All right, yeah, now I can see his four-seamer will top out at 95 miles an hour. Second pitch of the at-bat is way outside. Curveball there, easy take, one and one the count. All right, third pitch of the at-bat. Sent back up the middle, and it's another single to center field. Hey, I, I, I'm all right with that. that. That helps the old batting average out a little bit. Bottom of the third, Cardinals are up 8-2 to two now. Holy cow. Two outs and nobody on for Kavan Biggio, who's one for one with a two-run dinger on his line score today. 0-2 oh, pitch to him from Pablo Gonzalez. It is a hot shot towards the middle, but we get a glove on that. Throw to first will be in plenty of time. And the third inning is now over. We're moving to the fourth with a six-run cushion. Top of the fourth, still eight to two. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in for the third time today with a two for two line score. Two singles, two runs scored. And oh gosh, um, we'll do the power swing for a hit. What the heck? Sounds like fun. Peter Lambert is on the mound now in relief for the Giants. He's got a 96 mile an hour four seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch from him. Below the knees of the four seamer, just barely. One and oh, the count. Second pitch of the at-bat is off the inside corner. Four-seamer at 95 doesn't get the call there. Two and O oh, the count. Third pitch of the at-bat. Oh, got me to swing through a 12-6 curve below the knees there. Way out in front of it, so we have a two and one count now. Pitch number four. Oh, another 12-6 curve. Just destroying me at the plate with those. Two and two the count after swinging at a pair of those well below the knees. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Four-seamer off the outside corner. Back to a full count here. We're going to send another one up the middle just for grins and giggles. Let's find out. The payoff pitch from Lambert gets me looking. Oh, oh man. Well, that's the first out in the top of the fourth. Now, top of the sixth, we're coming back to it. One out and nobody on as I'm standing in for the fourth time today. I'm two for three today, three for five on the series, so I'm doing really good. Peter Lambert still on the mound for the Giants here now. First pitch of this at bat is in the top of the zone with the four seamer. Late swing, fouled it away. Oh, and won the count after that one finds the seats down the right field line. Second pitch of the at bat. Oh, four seamer just off the outside corner, cut on and missed. Oh, and to the count after watching nothing happen with that one. Holy mackerel, that four-seamer had a weird movement on it. One and two the count, though, after watching that one go by a little bit on the up and inside. One, two, pitch, lined it right to the second baseman. Took it on the short hop and threw it first to get the second out. So two away now, top of the sixth. Bottom half of the inning, though, Josh Rojas at the plate. He's one for two on the day, has a runner on second, and nobody out here. Let's see what he can do with this 0-2 pitch from starter Pablo Gonzalez. He's bunting it down the first baseline. Yep, bird doodles. There you go. Tag him out on the way, but it advances the runner to third. Perfectly executed sacrifice there. Bottom of the seventh, 93. The score, Lewis Matos. Matos? I think it's Matos. Is that the plate for the Giants here? He has a one and two count with a runner on first and one away. Let's see if Pablo Gonzalez can serve up the double play. Ooh, ground ball left side. Five, four. Three, bang, bang, play at first to get the double play as we go around the horn to end the inning. Thing of beauty right there. Thing of beauty. All right, top of the eighth. One out, nobody on. I'm standing in for the fifth time today. Two for four line score so far. And Peter Lambert still on the mound for the Giants here. First pitch from him in this at-bat, though. Oh, gosh, 12-6 curve. Had me looking like a fool up there. Swung on and missed. Oh, and won the count. Way out in front of that bad boy. Not fooling me with that four-seamer, though, just above the knees. That one takes a ride into the cheap seats in left field. See you later, baseball. That was a good one. Cardinals now lead 10-3 after launching that one out in a hurry. 
401 feet is all that went, but 105 off the bat, that's solid, I'll take it. All right, coming back to it, bottom of the eighth, runners on first and second, two away for Marco Luciano. He's 0 for 3 on the day, has a 2-1 and one count here in this at-bat. Pablo Gonzalez still on the mound here in the bottom of the eighth. The 2-1 pitch to him. Sent left side, not going to get it, not going to get it. Throw to the plate. Up the line, runner scores 10 to 4 the score. Now runners on first and second. Cardinals still win the game. Final score of 10 to 4. Nah, that, there you have it for game number two. Let's move on to game number three. See if we can get the sweep here while we're visiting in San Fran. All right, here we go. Top of the first, one out, or nobody out, runner on first. 225, the batting average after having uh, quite a day at the plate these last few games. Zach Plesak is on the mound for the Giants here, has a 94 mile an hour four seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him is a slider off the plate away and I swung at it anyway. Oh, and won the count after not making contact with that swing. Second pitch of the at-bat from Plesak is not happening yet as he checks on the runner at first. He gets back easily. And now maybe we'll see the second at or pitch of the at-bat. Grip it and rip it. Four-seamer into right center field. Right fielder makes a running play there in the alley. So just a long and loud first out here in the top of the first. Runner at first still stays there. Top of the third. No score yet. Two outs and a runner on first. I'm standing in for the second time today. Had that line out in my first at-bat. Zach Plesak still on the mound for the Giants here. And that one's sent into center field. Hello, batting average. Nice to see you today. And, uh, yeah, base hit single to center field. Now we have runners on first and second with two away here in the top of the third. 5-0 the score as we come back top of the fifth. Cardinals have the lead. Runner on second, nobody out. I am one for two on the day with a single and a run scored. So... Kyle Harrison is now on the mound in relief for the Giants. He has a 96 mile an hour. Four seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from the left. He is off the inside corner. Cut on it, popped it up behind the home plate. And the catcher makes a play there for a painless first out here in the top of the fifth. Seven to one the score when we come back in the bottom half. Runner on first, nobody out for Tyro Estrada. He's 0 for 2 on the day, has a 2 and 2 count here with that runner on first and nobody out. The 2-2 pitch here from Frankie Montas is sent to the left side. Oh, past the diving third baseman into the left field. So that's a base hit for him. Runners on first and second now with nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. Luis Matos is at the plate now in the bottom of the sixth. The Cardinals holding a 7-3 lead, but there's runners on first and second. And only one away here. Full count for Matos against starter Frankie Montas. And a ground ball to the shortstop. Six, four, and three. Double play to retire the side and prevent any more runs from scoring. And there you have it. Top of the seventh. Runner on second. One away as we come back to it. I'm up to the plate for the fourth time today. I'm five for ten on the series with a home run and two RBIs. Kyle Harrison still on the mound now in relief for the Giants. First pitch of the at-bat from him is inside. Slider really took off there towards the end of that pitch. 1-0 oh the count as that one just missed me. Second pitch of the at-bat here. Low, but over the outside, well, close to the outside corner. 2-0 oh the count after watching that one go by there. Third pitch of the at-bat from Harrison here. Oh, man, deep into left field with that one. Oh, he caught it on the warning track just short of the wall. It did advance the runner from second to third. That's a really, really long way to make that happen. 106 off the bat and still couldn't get it over the fence. That's a bummer. Bottom half of the inning, though. Seventh inning stretch is over. Runner on first. Nobody out for Brian De La Cruz. He's one for three on the day. Has an 0-1 count in this at bat. Let's see what Frankie Montes is going to serve up with pitch number 88 of the game. Ground ball up the middle. Shortstop gets it. Flips to me. Covering second. Relay to first in time. 6-4-3. The double play that empties the bases here. For those of you keeping track at home. 
Bottom of the ninth, two outs, nobody on. Brian De La Cruz at the plate again. One for four day for him now, with only that single in the first inning on his uh, positive side of his line score. 2-2 pitch from Dwayne Underwood Jr. There's a little dribbler to second. Easy play. Cardinals complete the sweep here in San Francisco, winning all three games. This one's final score is 7-3. And yeah, there you have it, kids. It's the end of the series, so that's going to be the end of the episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.